join me while I attempt this huge task of clearing out all the bags in my wardrobe. I want to fine tune and create a beautiful curated collection of bags I know I will love and wear and decide to keep only what I love and sell what I don't really need. My bag collection consists of thrift, of the high street and a little bit of designer, a little bit of luxury, not much, and just some beautiful pieces that I've brought from my travels that are very unique and different and special to me because they act like souvenirs. So with that said, I'm gonna get started sorting out through all my bags, deciding what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna sell. I will show you the bag, explain to you how I style it, why I loved it and where I got it. I'll try not to ramble on too much, but that's pretty difficult when I'm talking about fashion. So, shall we begin? This is a round basket bag that I found in TK Maxx. However, it is a Bali import. It has very cute gingham print lining inside. It's just a beautiful piece to wear in the summertime and when you travel. However, I must say, getting things in and out of this small closure is very annoying but it is very cute and these bags were so on trend a couple of years ago i happen to think they're pretty timeless i liked this one because it was black and most of the bags in this style that i've seen were in this natural wicker so i think the black looks more chic and you can dress it up more it's my one and only round basket bag so i'm gonna keep this one this is a cute little clutch bag that I found in Thailand. I really loved the color. I think it's just a beautiful, vibrant blue. And although I mostly use this bag when I travel, I think it's very cute. As I said, I love the color. It just really pops against an outfit, especially a summer outfit. It doesn't have to match with any colors that you're wearing. I just find that it goes with everything. The name is Kaleidoscope. It's made in Thailand. And other than being just very pretty with this cute little tassel on the end it just holds very special memories for me it acts like a souvenir from my travels so I'm keeping this one too this is a great neutral clutch that I've had for years I got this from a boutique in Cronulla it's in a beautiful taupe color it's a crochet design and I have used this both in the evening and daytime there was a time when all I wore were clutches it was just crazy but also this color just goes with anything it's a great color it's a classic so I'm keeping this one another clutch but this one is in leather and it has a beautiful flower print embossed in the leather in these gorgeous pastels my son got me this for Christmas it is made in Italy and it is leather it's just a really pretty clutch and it looks even nicer when it's filled with things inside how could I ever get rid of something my son bought me never that will never happen. Even inside the lining is just really great quality and it says it's an Italian name and then it says genuine leather made in Italy. The wristlet just makes it so easy to carry around. It's another great neutral, you know, it's tan and the pastel floral print I find goes with everything. So I really love this, I should wear it more. This amazing 70s vibe, boho vibes bag that I got from Bali gets so many compliments and I get asked so many questions about this bag. The leather is embossed with this beautiful print and that's what gives it the 70s vibe. It's in a beautiful blonde leather and again, it's the kind of bag that just goes with everything, whether you wear it just on your shoulder like that or crossbody, it's just such a cute bag. This was definitely a treasure find. I found it from a boutique in Seminyak and it only cost me, I think, $40 Australian. So a very special piece in my bag collection. This bag is beautiful. I really do love it. It's a vintage envelope bag that I thrifted. Although I love it so much, I've never worn this bag except for styling purposes. It really is a gorgeous vintage bag. I don't know why I haven't worn it. Actually, I think I do know why. Because my Chanel bag is also vintage that I got from a consignment store very many years ago from Paddington. It's just very similar in shape and it's black. And I feel like if I ever want to wear this style of bag, I will always reach for my Chanel. I mean, they are the exact same shape and size. Look at that. I don't wear this, so it could go to someone who would absolutely love this bag. I would much rather get use out of my Chanel bag, which cost me so much money, which I was so in love with and still am. And it's just classic and timeless and I absolutely love it. I love inside the burgundy lining. It fits 
just enough your wallet your sunnies your keys your phone maybe a lipstick it fits enough although it doesn't have the chain strap that's what i love about it it's a leather strap you don't really see chanel bags with a leather strap i find it's different it's definitely vintage you can see that it's vintage and i forgot to mention it also has this flat pocket at the back which is just so useful and i always slip my phone in here it's just a beautiful bag it really is it's my love although this vintage bag is very beautiful i love the patina on this bag inside it's also beautifully made with leather lining but i think i am going to sell this one and just wear my chanel bag no this is not a chanel bag but doesn't it look like one this is just uncanny how much it looks like chanel whenever i wear this bag i always get you know remarks on wow is that a chanel that's so cute it's vintage where did you get it from well it is vintage it's made in florence italy it's just beautiful beautiful inside it was like new when i found it at vinnie's even the chain it's done so well it is just a beautiful black vintage quilted bag that has really no designer name oh yes it does it's in italian again christian 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 genuine leather made in florence italy oh my god this is one of my treasure finds and i just can't believe i found it you can also tuck the chain inside and just use it as a little clutch it's just beautiful i mean when i wear this bag to me it's like a chanel or just as good as so i will have this forever i love this bag i got this bag from new york from reese i think it is a uk brand look at this i just love how compact and mini and structured it is the details are just beautiful and normally i steer clear from hardware on a bag too much hardware to me looks very tacky and cheap a little bit that's quality hardware can look just beautiful and i think this bag is just done right inside it doesn't fit much so when i do wear this bag my wallet will go in there and my chanel wallet is almost the exact same color as this hold on i'll show you okay so here is my chanel wallet that i got from new york from a consignment store what a beautiful pairing and it fits just perfectly inside i am gonna leave it out on my hat stand so i can wear it because it's so pretty that it should be taken out oh my god it's such a beautiful bag I've always loved the color burgundy. I don't know why. I'm just very drawn to that color. And that's why I love my Chanel wallet so much. Because although there was a black one there in the consignment store, the burgundy one I was drawn to not only because it was a little bit less expensive, I just find it so classic and timeless and just a little bit different than just everyday black. So I was always looking for a burgundy bag. And I found this one before I found my Reese bag. It is vintage. It is leather made in india i love this bag i love the length on me i love the patina of the leather and the hardware it's just beautiful but i think i will sell this one because it is too similar to my reese bag i went through a phase last year was it last year or the year before where i was obsessed with bucket bags i accumulated all these bucket bags that i'm about to show you this is by madewell and they do beautiful stuff clothing accessories i can't tell you how much i love this exact tan color it's just perfection it goes with everything it goes for any season it's just amazing these bags are quite roomy let me tell you pull the drawstring everything's nice and secure and tucked away inside you can carry it handheld or crossbody or over your shoulder every time i wear this bag it just brings me joy and they're the kind of pieces that you should always have in your wardrobe so these are my bucket bags by leona edmiston i love them so much with this polka dot pouch lining initially i bought the black one first i did see the red one and i was thinking which one do i get i don't need both come on joe just get one i got the black one because of course it's more versatile you know a week later i think i went back and got the red one because i just love this red and i don't own a red bag i love red with pink anytime i wear pink a pink shirt 
or anything pink on the top, I wear this bag with it. These two bags aren't going anywhere. I absolutely adore them. I think although they're not leather, they are so well made. They are the perfect size. They have a strap so you can wear it over your shoulder or crossbody, which I normally do because it's just more my vibe to wear bags crossbody. Whether you hold it in your hand or just hold it over your arm, I think they are just so unexpected and such a beautiful bag. I don't care if they're in or out or whatever. I love them. They remind me of ice buckets and I just think they're so cute. So I'm keeping both. I think this rounds up my bucket bags. I have two more. Both are thrifted. This one's free people. This one's, I think, just sports girl. I don't think either of them are leather. I was on the hunt for a powder blue or gray blue bag. I really needed one to pair with my outfits. I found this free people one first and I got it from eBay. It was a steal. I'm not sure if it's leather. She said it was leather, but I beg to differ. I don't think it's leather, but it could be. This one's just a sports girl one that I thrifted not too long ago. And now when I look at both, I think I prefer this color because it's more neutral. Say I was going to wear this shirt. I think the blue of this bag brings out the blue in the shirt. Whereas this bag doesn't really pair well at all. It's not the right blue. If I was wearing this shirt, which has a pastel blue in it, I still don't think that works. This does work, however, that is perfection. Let me try one more. If I was wearing this Free People turtleneck, this blue does not work. However, this blue is perfection. I'm going to keep this more recent purchase and sell the Free People one, even though I love it. This one works more with my outfits. Another blue bag I have to show you is this Lorridge one. It's a designer bag. I didn't even know when I thrifted it that it was designer until I researched it. I mean, I could wear this bag with this dress and it would work perfectly However, I would not because I like my bag to pop against my outfit. What bag I would wear with this dress? My red bucket bag. I think that just brings out the pops of red in the dress and they make a beautiful contrast. I want my outfit to make my bag pop and vice versa. I want my bag to make my outfit pop. So there needs to be contrast. Whereas there's no contrast with this bag. Does it work? Yes. But is it unexpected? Does it pop? Does it make that, you know, wow factor? I think this does more. I do love this bag and I love it with denim and a white shirt and then just a bag like this. It's a very fancy lady bag. I don't have anything like this. It was a treasure find. I love the shape. It just reminds me of an Hermes bag. Yeah, I love it, you guys. How cute is this little navy bag? I mean, it's nautical. It's Parisian. It's so tiny. It's so cute. I absolutely love this. And I found it from the Coach Outlets in Maui. It does fit more in here than you would think. I mean, it doesn't fit a lot, obviously. It fits a wallet. And the wallet in this bag I got on the same day. It's a cute little Coach wallet and it fits perfectly in there. It's just so cute. It is quite long and I think I've got it on the shortest adjustment. I do, but look how long it is. The contrast trim, I think, is what makes this bag and the little clasp and just the patina. It also has a little flap at the back. I took this on holidays with me and I used to take it out of an evening or during the day and I had my little hotel key card back here, my cash and my lip balm in my bag. I had my sunnies already on. It was just perfect. I mean, so adorable. While we're on the topic of coach, this is my coach backpack that I also got the same time I got the little mini crossbody. I love coach. They are entry level designers. So if you're looking to invest in a designer bag, but don't have, you know, quite the budget for a Chanel or a Gucci or a Yves Saint Laurent, then maybe consider Coach because they are just beautiful bags. And what I love about Coach most of all is that it's the quintessential New York brand, my favorite city in the world. And I just do love their aesthetic. Not everything, but that's the same with any high-end designer. I mean, some things that they produce are just plain ugly. I mean, let's be real. Backpacks, in my opinion, are just great. I love the aesthetic. I love the hands-free. I love the relaxed vibe about them. I love the signature canvas. It's just a beautiful backpack, you guys. And I couldn't believe when I found it at the outlets for the price I got it at. I can't remember, but it was a great bargain. I absolutely love it and wear it a lot. It is a great travel bag. It fits 
all my stuff in there. This is a bag I think I'll have with me for a very long time. I love it. This, you guys, is my Coach Parker backpack, and I found this from a consignment store in Honolulu when I was there. I think it was last year. It is just stunning, is it not? I love the patina of the leather. I love this signature canvas. I love the shape. It also converts into a handbag so a shoulder bag it's just beautiful i wear it all the time it goes with so many outfits it's just a backpack but done in a fancy way in my opinion it's just so beautiful you guys i reach for this bag all the time sometimes i just wear it on my arm like that it's not going anywhere i told you i loved backpacks i think this is my most used bag and i've had it for a number of years now and I'm not over it. I love the quilted, this fabric that it's in. I'm not sure what it is, nylon or whatever, but it's high quality and it's so easy to keep clean. The straps are so comfortable. I think it is just the best bag ever. I wear it all the time, you guys. I can't tell you. Most days I'm wearing this bag because it is my perfect thrifting bag. I'm hands-free, I can thrift, I've got my snacks, my water, my camera, and I'm so comfortable. I just love this bag. This bag, my friends, is possibly the best money I've ever spent on a bag. I think it cost me 50 bucks. It's by Sol and Celine. I got it from TK Maxx. They do retail for a lot more. Yeah, I got it for 50 bucks and I couldn't be happier. So this is a bag that I thrifted and it is a treasure find. I mean, look at the colors on this bag. The beads, the animal print, the hardware, the clasp, it also has a chain so you can wear it over your shoulder. It's quite long though on me. It is a very beautiful bag, you guys, but I've never worn this bag. I do love it though. It is so pretty. I mean, it doesn't really go with what I'm wearing. I wouldn't wear it with this dress. What would I wear it with? A top like that. They're still in the same color family, you know, lacy, feminine, feminine, and then maybe some jeans or even a skirt that would work. I don't know what to do about this one, you guys. I don't know where it's from, if it's expensive or not. I have no idea. I just really loved it. And I think I should at least try and style it and wear it out once, don't you? I mean, look at that beading. I don't know what to do about this one. I think I'm going to sell it. I'll probably regret it. So this is a bag that I bought for my New York travels. I love it. I still wear it. I just love the relaxed, sporty vibe of this bag. I mean, I would even wear it with this dress. It just changes the whole vibe of my outfit. I love the contrast black canvas strap. It's also adjustable so you can make it long or short. I have worn it just over my shoulder as well. It's a camera bag shape, which is the most versatile shape. I just love it. It just reminds me of a person that travels. Who has the budget to only have luxury bags in their closet? I mean, not me. I think it's nice to mix it up a little and when you find something that's from the high street that just looks so great and such good quality. So this is the other white bag that I own, a recent purchase from TK Maxx. When I saw this, it reminded me of the Celine box bag, a designer bag that I just absolutely adore. I would love to own it. I have no budget for that kind of bag. I do love this bag, even though, to be honest, it doesn't look anything like the Celine box bag. It's not a box shape, for one thing. It is this more saddlebag shape, but it's the clasp that I love. And I love the contrast piping. I also like the snake print texture on this. It's not a leather bag. I do like it, and I really like it on. I've been wearing it quite a lot. It was a spur of the moment purchase that just brought me a little bit of happiness in that moment and I've been wearing it and loving it. When it comes to bags, I believe that small bags are more youthful, more stylish, more chic. I don't really like wearing big bags. I don't find them very chic at all, to be honest. If I am going to wear a big bag, I love a tote. A tote is a girl about town kind of bag that will never date and I have two. I have one that is vintage and I have this gorgeous tan polka dot one that I got from New York. So this one is by Anthropology. I just love this print because it reminds me of Pretty Woman. So I call this my Pretty Woman bag. I love the handles. They're tan leather with gold hardware, very minimal. It's just a great tote bag and I adore it. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. It's beautiful. It's quirky, it's stylish, it's chic, it goes with so many things, and I love it. This tote bag is vintage. I will never part with either. My mum bought me this when I was 
in my 20s a very long time ago my friends look at the patina of this leather though it has aged so well the style it's just timeless i mean it's a beautiful black tote bag that fits everything i love carrying this bag if i'm going to a cafe to do some work my laptop fits in there or i wear this bag when i'm running errands when i have a few things to pick up and i know that they can fit in my bag every girl needs a tote in her life and i'm so glad i've got a black one and a tan one and i think they're both the perfect juxtaposition and I wear them both in different ways. So this is my sling bag that I picked up from Hawaii. It's by Amy Katzenberg and it's in beautiful cream leather. Again, a contrasting black canvas strap. This is just great for travel. I even wear it when I'm running around the coast. I just love it across my chest. I put my cash, my keys, my phone, and I'm just good to go. It's a no fuss bag. You can wear it around your waist as well, which I have done especially when I'm traveling. Sometimes this acts as a belt. It's just, oh my God, it's a great purchase and I love it. This is a beaded bag that I thrifted from my Two Clean Markers. I think it's one of the most special finds that I've ever thrifted. I mean, it's just stunning. The whole thing is beaded and it has these beautiful pastel leaves. It reminds me of a peacock. The opening is just incredible. The lining inside is silk from the 20s. It has a little cord beaded strap that you wear just over your arm like that. It's just beautiful. I've never worn it, only for styling purposes. This is something that I will have forever if I'm going to a wedding or somewhere special. Perhaps on a date if I ever get asked on one. I mean, this is the kind of bag that I would wear. I think it is just beautiful. How could I ever part with something as special as this? This is another beaded bag that I thrifted not long ago. It's black beads, gold hardware in this sort of nana style shape. I love the clasp. It's so old world. It's so vintage. It's just gorgeous. But you know what? I'm going to sell this one. I only need one beaded bag. I mean, I haven't even worn that one yet. Even though this is a black bag and it's completely different, I know that no matter what I'm wearing, this bag will go with everything because it's cream and the colors are pastels and these are the colors in my wardrobe. So no matter how beautiful this bag is, I just probably wouldn't reach for it. So I'm going to sell this one and keep this as my one and only beaded bag. I thrifted this Glomish bag not long ago, actually, you guys. I don't know if it's something I will ever wear, but I do want it in my bag collection. I would 100% wear this with my jeans and a beautiful blouse a black pump, I think it would make a beautiful, beautiful statement to my outfit. And I just love it. I'm so glad that I found it. I did find another Glomish bag that I have on my shop. So I'm happy to keep this one. And I love the cream color and the gold hardware and the gold chain. And I like how it works on me. It's just really, really cute. So this is another beaded bag. It's a vintage one that I thrifted. It's a little bit different. First of all, the strap is a little bit longer. So it's more functional, I think. The way it opens is so different. I mean, it has this stiff kind of bendy and it just opens and closes like that. Vintage made in New York, a canvas lining. I just really like this color and the texture of the beads. It's just very different from my other beaded bag and it's more casual because it has that one color palette it's easier to style so i'm going to hold on to this one i'm not sure that the camera is picking up how fabulous this bag is this is a recent thrift purchase you guys it's a beautiful velvet clutch by van cleef and r pearls that is what this little gold badge at the front says it has gold contrast piping around the bag it's a beautiful shape i think this is a treasure find i really love this bag I think it's very vintage but modern at the same time and I don't have anything like this. I think this is a beautiful bag to wear of an evening in the winter time when you're wearing a very pared down outfit. I think this is just that statement that a very basic outfit would need. I just love it, you guys. No, my friends, you did not accidentally click on another video. This is me on a different day in a different outfit because I had to pop on to show you guys a whole section of my bags that I missed. Don't ask me how I missed it. It's a collection of all my straw beach type bags. I am going to interrupt your viewing for a few moments and show you guys my collection of those. And then the video will continue as before. I'm a huge fan of straw bags. I love wearing them in the summertime, obviously, and on my travels. But seeing as I do live on the coast, I also love to wear them 
with just my everyday casual outfits. I think it's very unexpected and I just love the vibe. This beautiful straw bag I got from the Ubud markets in Bali. I just love the print. I love the shape of this bag. I love wearing it over my shoulder, just like that, or handheld. It's just timeless. This is never gonna date. I'm gonna wear it year in, year out on my travels, as I mentioned. And so that's why I could never part with this gorgeous bag. I've had this bag for many years. I got it from Hawaii from Lucky Brand. Again, I just love the print on this bag. You know, when there's a black print on straw or twine, I think it's very striking. This one gives me Moroccan vibes for some reason. You can wear it in the original shape I just showed you, or you can open it up and it looks more like a tote. It's great for a beach day because it fits everything in here, especially when you're wearing it in this shape. But more often than not, I'm wearing it in this shape, just like a little shopper bag. I just love it. It's so pretty. I mean, who doesn't own one of these bags, these round twine straw bags that are just so bohemian and just timeless and look great with any outfit. I love this bag. I got it from TK Maxx. This handle length just really works on my body. You know, I'm not very tall, but I just like where it hits my waist. I love wearing this bag with my espadrilles. I mean, they're just a beautiful pairing and I love the vibe they give an outfit. So a lot of the times I'm wearing these together, I just love this bag. I have another round straw bag, which I brought back from Bali with this gorgeous feather flower and the shell detail in the middle. It's just stunning. I mean, when I saw it, I just thought it was the prettiest thing. Even though I was so drawn to this bag, I wasn't sure whether I would wear it. I wasn't sure about this color interrupting my outfits. Now that it's spring and summer, I will try and work it into some of my outfits. If I don't reach for it very much, it is just a beautiful bag to have, you know, in your wardrobe or laying around your room as a decorative piece, I just think. It's so stunning and it's really, really well made. This is another bag that I bought from Bali. I mean, it is just so different. I love so much about this. I love the shape. So it's just a great little beach bag or even a shopper tote. And I love the natural and the pink woven in together. I think it's just a beautiful combination. $5 for a handmade gorgeous tote that is just so different. I love that. I remember finding this bag. I thrifted it for only $1. It is so different. I mean, who would have ever thought to make a straw bag in a plaid print? I mean, but I do think it's very pretty. This handle was much, much longer, this woven straw handle. So I made it shorter by just cutting it and tying the two ends together. And I wear it crossbody most of the times because it just hits the perfect part of my waist. I mean, this is just so cute. I don't know what to do about this one. I think it is so pretty, you guys. I mean, the ribbons of color running through this straw bag and the shape and the handles are made of wood. So inside the tag says handmade in the Philippines. Look at it, I mean, it is just so different, but I've never worn it. I only wore it once for a styling video, maybe once or twice. I don't know what to do about this. Should I sell it or keep it? I do really like it. I love the colors and I think it would be very easy to style. I don't know what to do about this one. I think I'm gonna keep it. Oh, I remember this bag. I thrifted this as well. And when I saw it, it just transported me back to when I was a little girl because I had a bag very similar to this. The beading, the colors, I can't quite remember the bag, but it brought back some kind of distant memory and I was very drawn to it. It's very cute. It's very quirky and cute and 70s. The lining inside is just navy fabric. The handles are made out of straw. It's corduroy and beads. It is a little nostalgic, but again, I've never worn this with an outfit other than in my styling videos. I'm not sure if I should hold on to it or sell it. This happens to me every time, you guys. Whenever I say I'm going to do a closet clear out and get rid of stuff and sell things and just, you know, keep what I love and wear, I just have so much trouble letting go of things. I mean, if I haven't worn it, I really should just let it go. But for some reason, I think, you know, I may wear this one day and it is cute and it reminds me of when I was young and it's 70s and it's boho, I'm gonna sell it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna start filming my shoe clear out video now. I'll let you continue on with the bags. Oh, I remember thrifting these. How cute are these little Greek fabric bags? One in blue, one in red. I'm just waiting to book my ticket to Greece so I can wear these bags because they are adorable. How cute 
would be, you know, walking around the Acropolis. I couldn't believe that I found these in my Salvation Army store on the Central Coast in Tukli. They're basically just little satchels and they have a tag inside. Oh, it's all in Greek. I mean, authentic made in Greece little satchel bags. One in red, one in blue. What are the chances, you guys? I love this bag so much. I wear it a lot in the summertime when I go to my Tukli markets. It's a great farmer's market bag. You know, I bought this from Hawaii. It's in a beautiful fabric. It has lyrics through it in this beautiful colorway. Well, I had to tie it up because it's so long and I'm so short. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I love it. I totally forgot about this reusable bag that I thrifted. It's so cute. The little front pocket. It's really well made as well. Look at that green canvas lining inside. You don't find reusable bags like this. This reminds me of a tote bag that some designer would put out and then charge $100 for it. Bags like this are so fantastic for obvious reasons. I mean, they're reusable bags. Seriously, you could use this as your bag. I mean, it's just a cute little statement bag. I actually do have a lot of reusable bags, so I am gonna sell this one. I forgot about this tote. Obviously a little bit different to my other two totes. I love the colorway, this red and navy, and it's nylon. I got this from TK Maxx, it's by Le Sport Sac. And I remember specifically buying this for travels with my kid. Now my kid is always hungry, always thirsty, always asking me for stuff, always asking me to hold his stuff. So this is the perfect bag for that because inside this bag, you're not gonna believe it, is an actually cooling section for the food. I mean, it has this insulation part. I've traveled a lot with this bag and it looks really cute with my Birkenstocks. What a cute pairing, right? I mean, whether I'm wearing denim cutoffs and a little tank or a cute little sundress, even though I'm in complete mummy mode, I still feel and look stylish. This is a linen bag that I got from my Bali travels. It's by Vintage Century and look at that shape. How boho and different is that? And it's in a beautiful cream linen. It's got leather handles. It opens up and has three sections. So it's great for the beach. It's great for shopping. It's just great for traveling. I've had this bag, I would say, for about 10 years now. And I still reach for it, not only when I'm traveling, but just when I'm running around the coast doing my thing. It's just very classic and timeless and just pairs well with everything. Another tote. I forgot I had another tote. This one is in a leopard print with tan handles. I mean, a leopard print is a neutral and it goes with everything. But I think I'm going to sell this one because I already have two totes and I don't wear totes enough to have, you know, this one as well. So this is another bag I bought back from my Hawaii travels and I love Love this fabric bag with the beading and the tassels and the pretty lining. I mean, look at the lining inside. So this strap is not adjustable. It's quite long, so I tied a knot in it and it's in a beautiful crackled leather. It has a drawstring closure, so it's like a drawstring little basket bag and it's just adorable. And when I saw this bag, I knew exactly why I wanted it in my life because when I travel and go out of an evening, I love to wear something that's pretty and sparkly and tropical and boho and this just fits the bill. It's just so pretty. I love a star print and backpacks, obviously. And when I saw this one at my Tukli markets, I almost didn't get it because it is really worse for wear, you guys. I mean, the trimmings are not leather, so it's very tattered. But the canvas star print is in great shape. And I do love the shape of this bag. It was only a dollar, you guys. One dollar for this star print backpack that I have worn and do wear a lot. So this one's staying. This bag is a recent purchase. Look at the shape of this bag. I mean, it's tiny. There's not much you can fit in there. But when I saw this bag, I was drawn to it immediately. I put it over my shoulder. I started thinking of ways I could style it. I wasn't having a great day. I haven't been in the greatest headspace. So sometimes retail therapy is required. I mean, it's not great for the bank balance, but it is great for mental health. So that's the headspace I was in when I found this bag and I just bought it. I love this shape. It's so different. I mean, I don't have a crossbody in this shape. It just makes a statement. The little bit of gold hardware that says Donna Karen New York. I wasn't deterred by this bag not being leather. Obviously, I have non-leather bags in my bag collection, but this shape, oh wow. I'm glad to have 
this beauty in my collection. But on the same day, I also bought another bag. And it's this one here, a fossil crossbody camera bag. These bags are no stranger to me. I've always had one. I've always owned a fossil crossbody bag in this camera shape in tan and black. I've had them for over 10 years and I think they are the most versatile bag that you can wear. They are not only stylish, but they fit more than what you think. They look great. They just go with everything. And I just love the updated version. So mine, I had mine for 10 years and I just recently sold it on eBay. And when I saw it, I fell in love and I got all nostalgic. I thought, you know what? I'm going to get it. It's an updated version. I loved my other ones so much. I mean, I had them for 10 years, so I know it's going to be an investment. You know, my mental health just needed it. I bit the bullet and grabbed both. I don't regret it. Bags and shoes always fit. Whether you've gained weight or lost weight, it doesn't matter because when you try on shoes and bags, they always fit and they always make us feel good. And that, my friends, is the end of my bag declutter. I don't know how well I did. I'll show you all the bags that I've decided to sell. So these are it, seven bags in total. And I guess that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed going through my whole bag wardrobe and seeing what I decided to keep and what I decided to sell. Next, I will attempt to film my shoe clear out. So that's next. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. And I really hope I see you in my next one. Always when I'm filming, they decide to cut their grass. <sighs> I love, oh my God, seriously? Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. Please stop. Oh, thank God. Now, where was I? Oh, I forgot about my hats. Where am I going to put them? I've got so many hats. Maybe I should do a hat clear out as well.